What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Ninjago video. In 2015, LEGO released a game called Ninjago Shadow of Ronin on the 3DS. I recently replayed this game and my main question was, is this game canon to the original Ninjago story? There is quite a bit of evidence that does suggest that this game is canon. In Ninjago Season 5, Episode 3, Sticks and Stones, the four ninja actually um, approach Ronin and confront him about having the scroll of air jitsu. But during their encounter, Ronin says, if you're talking about our last encounter, it was only business, specifying that there was an encounter between them before this, which we only know of one other one and that is Ninjago Shadow of Ronin. And then Kai says, you left us in the mouth of a... But while he doesn't finish that sentence, we can imply that he might have said the mouth of a volcano, which Ronin did in fact leave them in the mouth of an active volcano in the game. And then Ronin says, okay, so you're still upset. So we can kind of figure out here that Kai is kind of referencing back to this happening which shows that it might be canon that right there is already a very big piece of evidence suggesting that ninjago shadow of ronin is canon to the original storyline but besides that a lot of the characters in the game actually like reference things that have happened in the show like the ninja referencing samukai and the golden weapons ed in ed and edna's junkyard um he talked about being bit by the fang pyre just a bunch of different references to the original timeline, them talking about that. So that also suggests that this takes place in the original timeline. So right now it really is pointing to Ninjago Shadow of Ronin being canon, but there is one thing that points to it not being canon. And that is the fact that basically the entire game is kind of being told as a story by Kai and Jay. And so they're um, just kind of by definition, they're obviously um, mistakes of the way they could be telling it, things they're not telling us, things that might not be true in the way they're telling it. So overall, that just kind of makes the entire story just a bit unstable. As you can see on the screen right now, we can see a tweet or uh, a reply from Tommy and Drayson, one of the co-creators of Ninjago, saying it was, uh, well, someone asking him, is Shadow of Ronin canon to which he replies, it was supposed to, but took too many liberties, so no. There's also a tweet here from Dan and Kevin Hageman saying, I misspoke, Shadow of Ronin is not canon. They are the main creators of Ninjago. So yeah, it's not canon. So yeah, sadly, Ninjago Shadow of Ronin is a non-canon game. I really wish it was, it was a really cool game. Compared to other Ninjago games anyway, I thought it was a really, really awesome game, which is just super fun to play. I also just love the 3DS. It's such a cool console. But uh, yeah, it's non-canon. Anyway, guys, that is going to be just about it for this video. So I hope you all have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. I will see you in the next video or stream. Have a good one, everybody.